Hi friend. Today we're talking about The Ghosts of Monday. A filmmaker and his team travel to Cyprus to film at a haunted hotel for a ghost hunter type show. Directed by Francisco Cinquemani, written by Francisco Cinquemani, Andy Edwards, and Barry Keating. Starring Julian Sands, Mark Huberman, and Mariana Rossette. Mark Huberman plays Eric, the director of the paranormal show that's shooting in the hotel. The character isn't really memorable, which is funny because he's in the entire movie. Mariana Rossette plays Sophia. She's pretty important to the story, but it feels like they put her relationship with Eric and Bruce in the forefront until like the last 20 minutes or so. Julian Sands plays Bruce, the host of the show. His performance is pretty good as the drunken host. For the majority of the film, he plays drunk, at least what appears to be the case within the film as he's constantly wanting to have a drink with everyone and anyone. It's not his best performance, but it's passable. The real standouts are the older couple played by Maria Ayanu and Anthony Scordi. They're the two that allow the film crew to film in the hotel. Scordi's creepy and it's great. Ayanu is kind of a catty character and she comes out pretty mean, which is great. But I wish there was more of them. And sadly, we don't get much of the paranormal show other than like one short scene. And Sands comes off hilarious in it with his overacting. The writing's decent. The dialogue's pretty good but not all of it's great. There's one moment early on where the women who run the camera and the sound for the ghost show, they're watching the footage back that they shot and the one that runs the sound equipment notices the strange sound on the playback. The only question I have is how did she not hear it when they were filming? Later on, they're filming in the basement and she hears the sound again, but this time she hears it through the sound equipment. It's not very consistent. Also, the sound on the first scene is way off. They notice the sound and then the score creeps up and overpowers the sound that they're talking about. I think many of the movie's shortcomings are things like this. It's nothing major, but it does take me out of the movie. And this pretty much happens the entire runtime. And it's just a series of weird moments like that. At times, it does feel like two movies, a supernatural horror about a haunted hotel, and then a melodrama about a struggling television crew, both with really no one I ended up caring about. The kills were kind of mild, but it didn't need to be bombastic for this kind of story. While there's some bloody kills, it's not really gory. It's kind of predictable, but there's a few moments that come out of left field. And by the end, everything comes together and it's all explained, but somehow I still came out of it with more questions than answers. And I had high hopes for this one. The cover looked cool, the cast looked great, and so did the trailer. Overall, it's not bad, but the story seems a little underdeveloped. At the 45 minute mark of the 78 minute rum time, the movie takes a shift from what I was assuming was going to be a fun ghost movie to not that. With such a short runtime, I think they could have worked more on the setup for the end. The last half hour seems to like it comes out of nowhere. I don't want to go too far into spoiler territory, but there's no ghosts. I mean, it's enjoyable for what it is, but if you're going in hoping for a supernatural ghost story, this isn't it. If you like cheesy horror with a bit of silly monster stuff, then this is probably right up your alley. Did you see this movie? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, check out one of these videos.